today's mission seemed routine. We were moving personnel and uh, mail up to uh, the Marines at uh, Morales Frazier for the embedded training team with the ANA. That's Marine First Lieutenant Matthew Lamb. <laughs> As you can see, the weather is uh, another beautiful Afghanistan day. The night before, we were hit with a snowstorm. I knew the roads could be rough, but even out here in the mountains, the mission had to go on. From the beginning, we could feel our up-armored Humvee yielding to the slippery roads. All vehicles, slow down. Road is getting slippery. For security, we would pass slower vehicles on the snow-covered side of the road. But this pass by vehicle two proved too much. Halt the convoy, Vic one. Halt the convoy. We got a truck that's stuck on the side of the road. Over. Vic two, off-roading. Vic two's going off-road. Vic two's going off-road. This was only the beginning. All right, here's the situation. As you can see, uh, roads here are pretty bad. We're moving up north to uh, Fort Operating Base Morales Frazier and. Uh, one of our vehicles gotten stuck, we we're uh, working on getting it out. The second vehicle in the convoy uh, got down off to the side and then all of a sudden started side sliding into the ditch and the uh, way it was sitting in the ditch, it was up to the uh, passenger side door, so there was no way that it could get uh, either forward or backward. Lieutenant Lamb and another Marine struggled to strap the vehicle up. We uh, did a hasty uh, tie down on the uh, front tow bar of the vehicle that was in the ditch. He says in this environment, Mother Nature can bite even if you're ready. You can uh, try to anticipate it as best you can and put everything in place, but in the end, you know, it, it, Mother Nature's gonna kind of uh, get the best of you, uh, right. if you if you're not careful on, uh, on how you drive, uh, and especially if you get off the road a little bit, then uh, it's uh, kind of unpredictable. With vehicle two out of the ditch, we continue go, on. Go, 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 go. But not for long. Oh, oh, shit. oh, oh look at that. He ran out the road? So not five minutes down the road and our another vehicle gets stuck. We're on a roll. It became apparent that due to the road conditions and then not being able to see off to our left and to our right that it was going to be a, uh, a hazard if we tried to continue to move in and out of the uh, jingle trucks as we moved along the, the road. You know, unfortunately, we haven't learned the lesson for the first time. I said my first convoy and this is the shit that happens. <laughs> We're not on the road for long until a traffic jam. Up ahead, an accident. Traffic slows to a halt to get around this jackknife truck. We're not taking any more chances. So the pace has definitely slowed down now. We're not passing vehicles like we were on the side. That's just how we got stuck. So now we're stuck behind trucks going a little slower. But according to Lieutenant Lamb, that could be dangerous as well. It can. If you, can get, if you get bottlenecked in between uh, uh, civilian trucks and you have no uh, escape route and you don't have clear fields of fire, unfortunately, uh, if you were to get engaged at a point like that, it could turn into, uh, into a situation. But uh, the Marines are trained for this. You know, we, we try to keep ourselves and give ourselves enough room and maneuverability so that way we can uh, get into areas that uh, would allow us to make sure that we have no, uh, no civilian or friendly casualties, and that way we can also protect the Marines and the convoy as well. We decided Mother Nature has won this time and turned around to be safe. Back where we started, this day's mission is on hold for now, but even troops in combat like a snow day. Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, <laughs> Central Afghanistan.